Skills USA National Championships 2013 coverage brought to you by Exalta, Auto Explore, a Solera company, Hertz, there's Hertz and there's not exactly, SADA, 3M Collision Repair Solutions, Parts Trader, iCar, Spinezy, Verifax. Hey, welcome back to Skills USA 2013. Now it's after lunch, and as you can hear from behind us, they are back to work, Bob. Yeah, in case you had a really big lunch, and you're feeling kind of drowsy right now. We're gonna do a couple extra things for you. We're gonna talk about tint and blend, right? Yeah. And we're also gonna go visit the people over in the structural part. So stick around for those pieces. And we're gonna take some visits over there and see what they're doing now. Now the lunch break. What's kind of the part? Is that just really we want them to kind of get their breath back underneath them yeah, and kind right. of take a breather and. Yeah, you're watching this, you don't get the feel, but these kids are really stressed out. I mean, they're here at the Nationals competing for a national title. That's a big deal, you know, it's a big deal. So they need time just to kind of recoup and just relax a little bit as much as they can for this kind of competition. Well, it's going to be an interesting afternoon. Now we're going to find out at the end of the day and we'll probably announce tomorrow who our champions are and which states are taking home the gold. But like you said, we're going to hit structural here in a minute and talk about what we're looking for in that area and how that's important to Collision Repair Center. Then we're going to head over to tenting and learn what tenting is, how they use the color wheel, and what makes it different in the competition, which may be helpful to them a little bit later. That's right. So don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back with that. All right. Stay tuned for skills. Thanks. Hey, welcome to the 2013 metal finishing area of the skills competition. Now in this area they have an hour and 30 minutes to work on three areas of this fender. One area, they will be a metal finishing that part, portion of the fender. The center area, they're going to actually be allowed to use body filler. Now this is not just a grind and fill process, but this is working the metal to where they have the most smallest amounts of body filler applied to that area of the part. This area over here has looks a major hail looking type damage, where they will either be allowed to apply heat or work it cold. Probably better to work it cold in this example. After those three areas have been worked out, then the final piece of this competition is to sand the fender down and make it ready for a primer filler. So, hour and a half to take care of this task. When the fender is done, it's going to be quite an outcome.
Welcome to the structural damage analysis portion of the Skills USA Championships. Now in this portion of the competition, the competitors are going to come over and go through several different stages of structural damage analysis. They're going to start with taking some tram gauges that have already been set with datum and looking at some mock-up damage on frames. Now they're going to have to hang those gauges, determine what damage is on the vehicle, and write a report for that. Then they're going to make their way over to the racks. Now on the racks, we're going to have on one set a computerized measurement report that's going to be thrown up on the screen. And on that screen, they're going to analyze that report and determine, based on the computerized measurement, what's wrong with the car and what it would take to fix it and turn it back to normal. Then we step over to the next rack where we're going to do point-to-point -point measurement, more of a mechanical style, take an analysis of the damage. Now the portion of all of this is can they recognize structural damage to a vehicle regardless of what tools they have. From tram gauges to computerized measurement, it's all about finding the damage and correcting it in today's collision repair centers. Okay, joining me now is Don Shearer from AXO to talk a little bit about the color tinting competition. Don, thanks for joining us today. Show us a little bit about what we're doing here at the students. Oh, the students receive a spray out, and then they have a van body, and they have to determine the toners it's going to take to add to get the spray out to match the van body. Okay, now what kind of formula do they have to go through? What kind of process do they have to follow? We'll have the, the, the toners that are in the formula on the back. We have a tinting swatch. They have to determine which toner, based on uh, the shades that are in the tinting swatch, that are going to make the movement to match the spray out to the van. Okay, okay so uh, that sounds like a difficult process for some students. Now, when you find the, 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 com the competitors coming in here from all across the country, how prepared are they for this tinting? Some are surprisingly prepared. Others need more practice on color tinting. Okay, so we have to make a point here. For those of you watching this broadcast and wondering what you can do to help your student prepare better, tinting may be a good way to go. So what can you recommend they do back home to prepare themselves better for this tinting competition? I think understanding color groups is where I would start. And then starting to understand the color directions and uh, then work into metallics. Work with the solids first. Once you grasp the basics with the solids, then move into metallics and pearls. And look at color direction, color flip, uh, brightness, and color direction. Don, thanks for your time. Really appreciate it, and have a good show. Thank you very much. Hey, this is Christian with Collision Hub, and throughout the year I get to do some amazing things. Whether it's hanging out with our friends at Gas Monkey Garage, spending some time with Chip at Overhauling, or out at SEMA looking at some of the greatest cars with some builders. But the best thing I do all year long is the Skills USA Championships in Kansas City. Being here with these kids, the future of our industry, and seeing all the talent that has to come is just inspiring for all year long. 
but I can't do what I do without the help of great sponsors like Exalta Coating Systems. Thanks to them, we're going to be able to be live all week long here in Kansas City, sharing with you the best and the brightest talents that's there. So please go visit the Exalta website, learn about all the products that you've always known that just have a new name on them, and see what all they're going to bring to the industry in 2013. Thanks. Skills USA National Championships 2013 coverage brought to you by Exalta, Auto Explore, a Solera company, Hertz, there's Hertz and there's not exactly, SADA, 3M Collision Repair Solutions, Parts Trader, iCar, Spinezi, Verifax,